Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so here we are at the uh, title or the menu screen for Rise of the Tomb Raider. You can see um, from last week, if you remember, we are 100% complete with the main game plus the the Baba Yaga DLC. So it's time to tackle the other three DLCs in the game, which are kind of separate from the game. Um, and we're going to start with the one that's under Croft Manor. And if there only yeah, there's there's actually two under here. There's um there's Explore Croft Manor, but that doesn't really do anything. I mean, uh, we'll explore it plenty well enough under Blood Ties and and Laura's Nightmare. Um, so Blood Ties and Laura's Nightmare are the two DLCs under Croft Manor. So we'll start with the new story, Blood Ties. Yes, we shall. Final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor, somewhere. Dad's safe. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. So apparently we've got a jerk uncle who uh, thinks he's just going to take over. Let's take a look at... The safe is locked, so that's going to be our... Hmm. Our goal is to get into that safe, I think. Be in Dad's papers somewhere. Maybe in the library. So let's take a look at, um, let's see, I'm using the wrong buttons here. There we go. Okay, so we've got 54 relics, 40 documents, and two murals to find. Quite a lot. Um, notice served. Uh, inciting incident letter. Lara. It is unfortunate. Okay, so we've, we've read that. Um, that appears to be all that's available at the moment. No relics found. And so there's the map. Okay. That gives us something to go on. Uh, we have something here that's all flashy. Let's take a look. My birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. <laughs> okay, I've got a document over here. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name is Amelia. And apparently she's been studying right next to me. Art history, of all things. I shared some of my research against my better judgment, but I wanted to see how she would respond. And she did not disappoint. I felt as if I was suddenly engaged in a mental game of chess, moving and counter-moving in argument. At one point, that poor old librarian had to shush us as if we were children. I feel so foolish for not having noticed her earlier. She's a brilliant woman who's challenged my ideas for the first time in memory. In truth, I don't know if she's feeling as exhilarated as I am right now, but I dare say our conversation was mutually stimulating. For the first time in a long time, I find myself thinking about something else besides my research. I hope she returns for another round tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Fairly long diary on... My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. Um... 
about how he met, or how they met. Okay, what do we got here? Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. <laughs> Richard James Croft, Doctor of Archaeology. Okay, we got something here. Let's open up this. No? Nothing down here? Okay. Um, alright. Oh, more stuff. A picture with Dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. Jeez, they must have been together quite a while. Laura was, what, maybe eight in that picture? This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. Okay. Aha! Give me whatever that is. One of Dad's Yoruba masks. A gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the Prophet's tomb. Sure, sure. Book. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. Well, okay. I think we've pretty well covered the, uh, <laughs> the main room. Oh, oh, no, we did not, actually. Just a book here. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from mother, indifference and disinterest from father, and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going to marry that repugnant Earl of Farringdon anyway. One might think they would be happy that I was being courted by a genuine Lord of the Realm. It just happens to be Richard Croft. In their eyes, the man who single-handedly ruined a once great family. But there's nothing to be done now. Watching how Richard dealt with their subtle insults and disrespect. Such grace and calm. I know he did it for me. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with this man. It will break my mother's heart, but I cannot live the life she imagined for me. My time with Richard has only made this clearer. It must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. Well, sure. Otherwise, she wouldn't exist, right? So, you know. The door to the library. Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. <laughs> this is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. <laughs> Wait, I can get to the library through the old servant's corridor. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always love looking at these. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. Cool. Okay, yeah, there's the secret door there. We'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah, I kind of forgot about. We can use the um, the survival Hi, institute. Hi, Dad. Yeah. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a brilliant artist. Are some of her paintings locked up in the West Wing? And I guess I just want to know: Did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? 
Maybe I'm just being silly. But will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school? Okay, we got something here. Hey, come on, Laura, open it up. Let's pop that baby open. Okay, nothing in there. We got some. Oh, I got a document here. Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I somehow doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the past few weeks? My secretary discovered that you booked a flight to Turkey on the 20th. You can't have been simply sightseeing, as your customs claim suggest. I know you're up to something, and I'll be damned if I let you use the Croft assets to indulge the same obsession that led to my sister's death. It's not too late to relinquish your claims on the manor voluntarily. If you refuse, I will find a way to cut you off. Sincerely, Atlas. Jeez, what a jerk. <laughs> well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, I won't be boring your sword this time. Okay, pretty good. I guess we got that done. I'm gonna go back here real quick and um, just take a quick look at the office. Make sure there's nothing. Well, I guess we got everything. Okay, cool. All right, let's continue to the next area. The Grand Hall. I always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. Hmm. I want to see a cabinet over here. Aha! Got ourselves another The Phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. Um, some stuff downstairs. Oh, what's this? Hmm, this belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Stop smoking, love, or... <laughs> Hmm. We need a key for that. All right. Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there, Doug. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Oh yeah. So this is kind of a weird thing. Um, the map is actually upside down, uh, so they're calling this the West Wing. Clearly this is the East, if you look at the map right side up, so it must be uh, flipped upside down. Um, just, you know, no big deal, it's just something to notice. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? Looking at the compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer, but don't grow up too fast. Hmm. The offer came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God! I'm giddy even writing these words. When Rich and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby. But it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier and studio. Without that support, 
I might still be painting boring landscapes. Now I can't shake the foolish sensation that leaving would be a betrayal. He will laugh at that and insist I accept, even though I know it will break his heart to be apart. He never once asked me to sacrifice any part of my life for his. I have, of course, in a thousand small ways over the years, but he would never ask. The discussion can wait, and I will join him in Tibet. I won't cast a shadow over his find. I will be by his side in his triumph, as I know he will stand by my side in time. All right. To remember to pack this for my next trip. Um, what the hell is it? Oh, a flashlight. Gotcha. Hey, we got some gear. Nice. Should uh, be able to explore the dark now. Cool. And a phone. Hey, Jonah. Sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened and I need some time to think about what I want to do next. This old place is filled with memories and secrets. Uncle Atlas has tried to keep me out of here for so long I don't even know if I want to keep it. But after everything that's happened, maybe I can find out what it still means to me. If it's worth fighting him for. I'll let you know how things worked out when I'm back in London. It's kind of weird. I mean, what does Atlas think he, he has any right to this place? If anybody does, Laura does. Since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Sincerely, your uncle. Hmm. So he's the executor, huh? All right. Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. Cool, cool. Well, kind of looks like nothing else down this way. Need the master key. Aha. Here's a the thing. Hmm, I'm not sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. <laughs> yeah, this place is kind of falling apart, huh? Um not that it's probably going to let me into the West Wing, but let's see. Indeed not. Locked. Need a key to open this. Okay, I think we've gone as far as we can at this point. We can't get into the West Wing. Um, so I guess that appears to be about it. For now, let's go take that secret passage.
Hmm. Well, I guess we needed to go over there anyway to get the flashlight. Of course, we wouldn't have been able to see in there. Amelia, the news has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're a de Mornay. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. Yeah. Screw you, Atlas. You bastard. So how are we doing here? We got nine documents, 14 relics, and one mural. One mural? What was the mural that we got? I don't understand what... What was the mural? I don't know. All right, heading downstairs. Oh, jeez. Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. In fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly proper upbringing, Amelia's taken to roughing it more than I ever have. She fits in and connects with the local populace with such amazing empathy. Because of her, I've had a bit of an unexpected breakthrough in my research. She managed to convince an artifact dealer in Old Town to sell me a magnificent and quite unusual Tibetan scroll. From what I can tell, it seems to contain details surrounding an immortality ritual of some sort. I think it's time for me to take the next step with Amelia. In fact, I don't think I can wait any longer. I will ask for her hand tomorrow in the bright Egyptian sun amidst the dust and ruins. I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. Hmm. Nope. We need a key. We need that master key. Where would I find that master key? Not down here, I would imagine. Got another document. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic, unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your name and reputation and that of our family, truth be told, on some damned foolish crusade. I intend to go to Richard's investors and let them know exactly how he's spending their money, but I want to give you a chance to put a stop to this yourself. Please, don't go to Tibet. If not for me, at least for Lara. I haven't even met this guy and I don't like him. Still just as creepy as I remember. The wine cellars. Oh, we got stuff back there. Okay. We'll be going back there. Okay, there's something in the way. No worries. I know all these documents are going to slow things down, guys, but... It is what it is. My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. <laughs> As always, I indulged her in our usual game of chess. Over the course of the game, she broached the subject of her mother. She's having trouble remembering her now, and wanted to enter her ladyship's atelier which you sealed off, 
to play on her mother's piano. It enraged her when she wasn't allowed to go in, of course. For someone so young, she has such strong emotions. Later in the day, she set a trap for me in the walk-in freezer of all places. Before I knew what was happening, I found myself locked inside. Hmm. Mrs. Sheffield discovered me an hour later, shivering and somewhat peeved. It took us an additional hour to find Lara in the grounds. I know all her hiding places, of course, but this time she really did not want to be found. Call it years of observation, but I can tell when she's out of sorts. My lord, if I may be so bold, she misses you fiercely. She is lonely for her father. Please consider a call as soon as you are able. Um, I think that being locked in the freezer thing is a callback to one of the earlier games. Poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. Let's move this out of the way. Thank you. King to Queen One. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes Queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh, no! I didn't even see that! You should also know by now, I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. <laughs> Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday. Hmm. Okay, we got something here. I would play chess with our old butler, Winston, on this board. Never could beat him. There it is. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. Hmm. This is a book. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliche. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard. Adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family. But also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Or a life of obligation. Upholding the de Mornay name, embracing our traditions, not losing the family that raised me. Oh, this really is a rubbish choice. I don't want to lose them, but I love the life I've started to build with Richard. He comes with his own difficulties, but I can accept them. Will it be enough? Okay. Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all-hands-on-deck effort organizing the affair and keeping it secret. She's obsessed with Egypt, memorizing hieroglyphs and ancient Egyptian districts, so she'll be delighted with what Lord Croft has come up with. This will be good for her. She's been acting up of late, but I know she's just craving more of her father's attention. He's been so buried in his research. It'll be a nice moment for the two of them to reconnect. And I do believe he needs it as much as she does. Hmm. There's a cart there in the way. So let's get it moved. Alright, that should do it. What do we have here? 
Dad loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm, I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Well, this doesn't seem good. Ugh, walking through the mud. All right, Laura. Dad, this is it. The basement of despair. Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there. See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The keepers of knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on. <laughs> Let's take a look at where we are. Um, okay. So we're maybe a quarter to a third of the way through the relics and documents. Uh, it's going to take a couple episodes, guys. No, no question about it. I see a relic over here. Um, we're definitely not going to be able to finish this all in one sitting. So, no worries. We'll just have to Way, do you suppose? Hmm. Nothing down here. Um. I take it this goes back the way the other direction. <laughs> My stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You are hilarious, Laura. Okay, yeah, so we just came back around. Alright, good enough. So it looks like we have to go um, this way. Hmm, what's going on here? It's trapped. <laughs> One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. <laughs> Strong mm, water damage from the main hall above. Yeah, this place is a mess. It's going to take a fortune to restore it. Should probably make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, where's that? Where are we? Can't get through there. Did we miss that relic? No, we didn't. There it is. Good. This bust of Anubis was from Dad's Egyptian collection. He must have put it down in the basement for our little expedition. Well, why would you not bring it back up when you were done? What was this? I need a crowbar. Ah, oh, heck. Okay, fine. Okay, what have we here? Plans for adding electricity to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. 
Hmm, there's a missing page. Okay. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met. I just had my nose in a book lost in my own world. I am such a fool. I have let my obsession with this damned ritual of long life rule my better judgment for far too long. And it may already be too late. How could I have not seen this coming? I've made this mistake over and over, always putting my research before my personal life. But it's never hurt like this before. I simply cannot live without her. If I have to give up this accursed quest that has plagued me for so long, then so be it. I am going after her, right now, tonight. Hmm. Well, there you go. The library, my ticket. Okay, that ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully, it has a combination to the safe. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor, but she just smiled in her sunny way and paid him without a second thought. I assumed it was just a tourist scam, but it actually works. Turns out it requires a very specific kind of vellum and a heat source to illuminate the ink after it's dried. It should prove a nice challenge for Lara to puzzle out. Right. I always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had to live with. But, but this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. I never imagined I could be drawn in this way. Richard Cable to tell me he's found the monastery. The symbol we deciphered in the scroll was the key to its location. I don't know if I honestly believe that this will lead to the fabled elixir of life, but I can't help but feel that a great secret awaits us there. My brother was threatening to shut down the expedition, but I managed to talk him down for the time being. Now I am going to meet Richard. I would bring Lara if I could, but she's still too young. She'll be in good hands with Winston, and when we return, her parents might just be a bit more famous. <laughs> Okay. We got several documents in here. Okie dokie. Let's get going on them. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. Huh. So we have the expedition treasure, but we don't have these other ones. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. That's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it though. The Croft family crest and initials B.C. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. So, hang on a second. Uh... This. this bust of Anubis was from Dad's Egyptian collection. He must have put it down in the basement for our little expedition. 
so is there a number on it? Hmm. So what's that under? Immortality collection. Okay, well we got ourselves new gear. Okay, we should be able to light the fireplace now. Why would I want to light the fireplace? We've got some more documents here. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas. And now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround me. It is simply breathtaking. But what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seemed to expect me. They must have known someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence, the distinctive symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Hmm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? Uh huh. This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Hmm. Spent so many hours in here reading, dreaming of my own adventures. Okay, Laura, what else we got? Got another document over here. One of Winston's notes. He always hid sweets for me to find. Laura. Jaffa cakes next to William Blake. Well, I don't know what William Blake looks like. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Um, interesting. Which one do you think is Anubis? Because that would be the number that we need. I don't see anything that looks particularly like our statue. Unless it's number seven or eight. Maybe. Interesting. Nothing on the back. Now, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one. In the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. Okay, we got some stuff over here. This music is familiar. It's beautiful. <laughs> it appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or oh, didn't I put it back properly? Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Need the master key again. Are we sure we're gonna open up a lot of places when we find the master key? Um. Right. Okay. Come on, Laura. Work with me here. Work with me, Laura. Laura. Took quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. Okay. Why do I want to be up here? There's a thing in the way. Let's pull it back, I guess. I see, so now we gotta go down and... Move the bladder back. I'm with ya. I feel ya. Okay, we're up here now. What did this do for me? Not really sure. Don't see anything up here. Oh, I see a map or a document of some sort. Hmm. Blank, except for the image of a key. Blank, huh? I remember this map now. It leads to the master key, but we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Yes, I do seem to remember that. <coughs> um, okay. So, we'll go down. And do the thing by the fireplace, which is probably the reason why I lit it in the first place. No worries. No worries. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. Under a trunk near the bookcase. Uh, sure. X marks the spot, as they say. Like here, somewhere. Aha. Yeah, we did. Give me that. I'll be having the that. Master key. This should get me into the West Wing. Well, yes. Yes, it should. But also, um, many other places. All right. This should open most rooms in the manor, including the Forbidden West Wing. The Forbidden West Wing. But also this chest. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number. But which one? Two birds. Yep. Relics and documents. Okay, where are we going? Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Oh, uh, sure, the West Wing. So how are we doing here? We got 29 out of 54 documents. That's pretty good. That's um more than half. Oh, or sorry, relics. And... 19 out of 40 documents. We're, we're doing well. We got all the murals. Not that I really know what what was considered a mural, but whatever. We got them all. Um, I feel like there was something else that I missed that I couldn't get into because of the... Oh yeah, back here there was a master key door, I think. 
to the back here. Ooh, ah. Uh, where's this now? I don't really know. Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid exit from the dinner table had me concerned, and I wanted to impart something that I hope sets your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening, but I recognize that same passion in you. You're more like him than you know. Never doubt that he loves you more than his research, more than his artifacts, more than anything in this world. Storms pass, and tomorrow will be clear and blue again. When you have finished, please leave the tray outside. Be well. Yours, Winston. Hmm. Nothing really back here. Okay, sure, sure. Whoops, wrong button. Where are we? Haven't a clue. Uh... Go back in the library. Yeah, I was like, okay. We're back in the library. Um, I feel like there was another thing that we should have gotten. There was another chest or something that we couldn't get. Maybe not. To light the fireplace, I suppose. Um, now what? So we're going to the west wing. I don't really know. Uh, I guess we could. I'm going to take one more quick run through the, um, the passage, because I feel like there was something that we were sp couldn't get at the time. I can't remember what it was now. Is it this door? Yeah, that's it. What does this lead? Uh, back to where I just was. Okay, well, sure. Guess that doesn't really help me. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? Ok. 
Guess not. Well, that just leads down to the, the basement. Which I don't think... Well, maybe I should go check it out. This may be just be a waste of time, guys, but... Um, at the end of this passage... Wasn't there something... Oh, I needed a crowbar for something. That's what it was. I don't have a crowbar. Yeah. This is not gonna help. Right. Okay. I guess that all that leaves us with is the West Wing. Um. This is back in the library. Okay, guys, uh, very good. We've got about half the stuff, so I'm presuming we can finish this up in the next episode. Um, yeah, I guess the next thing to do is go into the West Wing. That's this door right here, uh, because there's our objective markers. So it's all good. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to stop here. Um, let me take a minute to thank my patrons. My $5 plus patron is Michael Hilliard. My $3 plus patrons are listed in the description below, along with any links that they've requested that I link to, so please do go check those out. Um, and then finally, at the end of this episode, you will see a list of all my $1 plus patrons. Um, thank you very much, guys. It is much appreciated. Uh, without your support, this would be a much more difficult endeavor, so I do appreciate the assistance. All right, guys. We will stop here, and we will pick this back up in the next episode. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to comment, like, and subscribe. All these things really help me out. I'd like to say a big thanks to all my patrons whose names are appearing on the screen right now. Thanks a lot, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more great content, consider joining my list of patrons. There's a link on the screen in the bottom left corner. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.